Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and hope you're all having a great time. We're back with some interesting SpaceX and Starship updates. In response to a Twitter user's inquiry about the scheduled Twitter Spaces session on Starship, Elon Musk provided an update in his typically engaging manner. While attending a friend's birthday celebration, Musk expressed his willingness to conduct a Spaces session about Starship and space in the near future. However, he later informed his followers that the session had been postponed until Saturday as he required a Starlink terminal for the discussion. But finally, the eagerly anticipated Twitter space session was organized on Saturday featuring writer Ashley Vance. In the Twitter space session, Elon Musk shared some intriguing updates regarding SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy projects. One of the major announcements Musk made during the conversation was a late-breaking change to the stage separation of Starship and Super Heavy. They've decided to switch to a hot staging approach, where the ship's engines will ignite while a few booster engines are still firing. This modification is expected to increase payload performance by approximately 10%. To facilitate hot staging, an extension with vents for the ship, exhaust, and additional shielding will be added to the top of the booster. Musk estimated that both the vehicle and pad upgrades required for this change will be completed within the next six weeks. Furthermore, Musk mentioned improvements made to the Raptor engines, which power the Starship and Super Heavy. He expressed confidence that the next launch of Starship and Super Heavy would have significantly higher chances of success, estimating a 60% likelihood at one point. According to Musk, the numerous modifications implemented on the vehicle for the upcoming test flight greatly enhance the probability of reaching orbit successfully. The discussion also touched upon the launch pad upgrades, specifically regarding the addition of 1,000 cubic meters of steel reinforcement below the orbital launch mount, OLM. On top of that, a steel sandwich water suppression system will be installed, providing extra protection for the base of the pad. These enhancements demonstrate SpaceX's dedication to ensuring a safe and reliable launch environment. Musk's announcement about the switch to hot staging, the improvements to the Raptor engines, and the upcoming launch pad upgrades indicate the continuous progress and innovation happening at SpaceX. With the anticipation building for the second test flight, scheduled in about six weeks, it'll be fascinating to see the impact of these updates on the success and future of the Starship and Super Heavy projects. We're excited to bring you more comprehensive coverage of the significant updates shared during this session in our upcoming videos. For now, let's head to the Starbase facility and see what's happening. After the successful spin prime test conducted on Wednesday, exciting developments are underway in the world of space exploration. As part of these preparations, there will be a road closure on June 26th from 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. It's important to note that this closure does not affect any flight operations. During this closure, the focus will be on an important event, the potential static fire test of Ship 25. For those unfamiliar with the term, a static fire test is a crucial ground test that involves partially fueling the vehicle and igniting at least one engine for a short duration. Unlike an actual launch, the vehicle remains securely fastened to the launch mount, hence the term static. This test allows engineers to evaluate the entire pre-flight process and identify any potential issues, especially with the engines, that must be addressed before a flight attempt. SpaceX follows a unique approach compared to other organizations like NASA. Instead of using flame diverters, SpaceX opts for shorter static fire tests lasting around 2-3 to three seconds. This strategy minimizes the risk of damaging the engines due to external factors such as rocks and dust. Typically, static fires are the third type of pre-flight ground testing conducted on a vehicle, following ambient pressure tests and wet dress rehearsals. However, in early test programs, a pre-burner test was often conducted before a static fire. The successful completion of a static fire is generally considered the final step on the vehicle, indicating readiness for an actual flight test. 
However, SpaceX has recently caught the attention of keen observers as they've begun modifying their new Starship vehicles with what appear to be multiple new vents located on the nose cone. These intriguing additions have sparked speculation about their purpose and significance. Let's delve into the details of what's been happening. The first sighting of these vents was on Ship 30's nose cone in the ring yard. Two vents were clearly visible, positioned beside each other. However, when the nose cone was later relocated to the ring yard, these vents seemed to have disappeared. This disappearance raised questions about these peculiar vents' nature and intended function. In mid-June, observers noticed crews installing identical vents on the top of Ship 28's nose cone. Once again, two vents were present, and it was even noticeable that the right vent was taped over, presumably to keep the pipe clean during the modification process. This consistent addition of vents on different nose cones piqued curiosity and speculation among enthusiasts. It's evident that these four vents were a late addition to SpaceX's plan for the Starship vehicles. Question arises, why did SpaceX change this design at this stage? There are several possibilities to consider. Perhaps SpaceX made the decision simply because it had the capability and flexibility to do so. Alternatively, they may have realized the need for increased control authority, assuming these vents are part of a reaction control system, or RCS. However, it's also conceivable that there are other reasons behind this modification, reasons yet to be unveiled. Another notable change related to the nose cone vents is the addition of two bell-shaped diverters positioned above the exiting vents. While this specific cone was eventually scrapped, other nose cones have already started receiving those nose bells. This indicates that SpaceX is actively exploring and redefining its design choices, adapting and iterating as they progress. The situation at Starbase where these modifications are taking place is characterized by rapid changes and constant design evolutions. It remains uncertain whether more mid-build changes will occur for these Starship vehicles. Only time will reveal the full extent of the modifications and unveil the reasons behind these intriguing developments. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of aerospace technology, its commitment to innovation and improvement is evident. The evolving nature of their designs and their willingness to experiment highlight the dynamic and progressive approach that's become synonymous with the company. By the way, we have some more exciting updates pouring in from the remarkable Starbase facility. First on our list of updates is the return of the BQD back cover to the launch complex, LC. The intricate engineering behind this piece of equipment ensures the safe and efficient operation of various systems. And lastly, but not least, we have an update from Megabay 2. It's with great excitement that we observe the installation of the second section of the third level of this colossal structure. Megabay 2, a testament to human engineering prowess, is steadily taking shape, providing a glimpse into the awe-inspiring future that awaits us. These updates from the Starbase facility give us a glimpse into the intricate dance of progress and innovation that's taking place behind the scenes. And that's all for now. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button to motivate us. Are you also counting on the SpaceX flight test too, like us? If so, what do you think about their recent preparation? Let us know your thoughts and opinions about Starship and SpaceX in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for joining us on this journey.